paleo cons and distant right they don't put necessarily the market first they want they want the market to serve the people rather than the people serving the market so if you're looking for a coherent society with higher levels of social trust where people basically trust their government and have good reason for believing that the government is is attempting to act in their best interests and the people collectively are willing to make substantial sacrifices in their individual freedom for the collective good that then perhaps there's something to be learned from Australia because the the individualistic you know free market uh, approach is is not the dissident right approach the dissident right that the paleo cons we want to call back to a higher sense of community and more willingness to to give up uh, some of our individual uh, freedoms for, for the sake of of more communal feeling and and more communal participation and and a greater sense of cohesiveness and and trust with it 